Hey, 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 what is happening? Um, I'm recording this right off the back of the last one that I just did, so this is episode 2, and then I'm recording it right after episode 1. Update on the hurricane for you guys, it is raining now, so, um, I, I guess it's doing what it's supposed to do, so, uh, it, it's approaching, it's approaching rapidly, but I'm here anyway. And, jump scare, what the hell was that? That was the old version of the map that I was working on. It was basically this map, but in the actual Rockhaven style, like the one for the current map, or well, I guess the old map, but you know, the one that everybody liked and that I scrapped, that one, uh, but we're not using that. We're going for the new style now with the, with the stuff I was talking about in the last episode and uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but today we're doing the car dealership and I want to create basically the Stapleton County V2 car dealership area, not the building, I'm not copying it one for one or anything, but I want to create the same kind of vibe here, where it's like a gathering place, and stuff, places for people to hang out, and um, yeah, uh, this is totally random by the way, but off, off of what I was saying last time about learning new stuff, I don't know how I didn't think of this before, but this is something that I learned, look at that, oh my god. That makes my life so much easier, you have no idea having those stripes there instead of having to do it with individual parts and then like negate the edges and, and trim everything and oh my god that was so easy and clean and beautiful. I am so excited for that. Um, I'm gonna be using that everywhere. But yeah, so, oh my god I'm getting off track. The car dealership, okay. So, this area is going to be very cool very interesting the dealership itself it's small um it's actually big like the building is big but it's not like a, a huge building it's one story and whatever um i'll be doing the interior pretty soon as well but um first i gotta do the exterior obviously i think i'll be doing the interior next actually i'm currently three episodes in like right now, like as I'm recording this, I just haven't recorded the third episode. I think fourth will be the interior for this. Um, and then we can go ahead and get started with that. So, um, something I've been doing so far that maybe you've noticed is that I've just been like redoing everything, including like the parking stalls and the roads. I think the only thing I didn't redo is the trees and then the cars, obviously, because I didn't do the cars. Shout out. Um, Oh my god, what is his name? Oh my god. Skyrock. Shout out Skyrock for the cars. Goated car developer. Um, but everything else I'm redoing from scratch, basically. I want to be free from the old Rock Haven influence. And I want to be able to just make this like it's something totally different. It's not something totally different. But from like a map perspective, it is. And I want to enable that kind of creative freedom, so I'm creating all of these assets from scratch again. Um, and that goes for everything. The doors, uh, the windows, <laughs> like, in the old version of the map I had a bunch of door frames hanging around because I was just using the same stuff. Not anymore, I'm making this stuff from scratch now. Um, but we're finally getting started on the building, and now is a good time to talk about the style for Lake of You. So you see the... The bottom half of this building is made out of brick, which for a car dealership is pretty uncommon, and I know that. Here's my philosophy. I'll put up a, a couple pictures of the like references and inspirations for Lakeview and what I want it to look like. That's kind of like the vibe that I'm going for. So it's an old-ish city, not super old, but like it's it's an older city, and so. I'm kind of like hybridizing this car dealership a little bit. If in a, in a second here, if you know car dealerships, you'll you'll know what I'm making here because they all look the same. Um, but spoiler alert, it's a Chevrolet dealership, but with brick on the bottom half instead of all windows. Um, and I think actually in hindsight, it makes a really good like hybridization of the two different styles. Um, and I think it actually fits the style pretty well. Better than I thought it was going to, I'm not gonna lie. I realized, like, once I was looking for photos of the car dealership, I was like, oh shit, like, none of these match. 
what I'm going for. I even looked at some like old car dealerships, some like Oldsmobile stuff, and none of it really works. I mean, all the photos were black and white, so that was already kind of a problem. But I mean, besides that, they just didn't really look that good or weren't that interesting. So um, over my years, I have developed experience in what makes a good reference image and what doesn't. And I finally found something that kind of works. So that's good. Um, I want to talk about something totally random, but the plans for trains. Because if you live in the Midwest, you know how many trains there are. I mean, okay, I, I say that like I live in the Midwest. I don't live in the Midwest. I lived in the Northeast for most of my life, and there were many trains there. Uh, but there's even more trains in the Midwest because of all the the stuff that they were moving between like the farms in Iowa and Kansas and then up in um, Minnesota and like all the, the plants and whatnot. So there's lots of trains. And that that's just like that one section of the, of the Midwest. You know, I, mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. But there's lots of trains. And I want there to be trains in this map because I think that shit is cool. And not a lot of groups do that very well. And I think that if I could make them actually usable, that would be really awesome because they're there isn't anything as cool as riding around on a train in the map. Uh, um, I used- this has gone as far back as, like, OG, 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 Rockhaven. I'm talking... I'm talking the version of the map where Meridian was literally on an island. Like, I'll, I'll put a picture of it on screen. If you remember Rockhaven back then, then you are an actual OG. Um, but that's that's what I'm talking about. There was a train in there. And one of my favorite things to do was to just drive the fucking train around the map because it was cool. Like, seeing the map and like the city go by through the train is like super awesome an experience I, I want to have in this game, especially with, like, just how the map is going to look in general, how beautiful it's going to be. So, that's definitely something I want to do, and that's something that I wanted to do with the last one too, but I realized that, like, I had not planned for it at all. Like, if I wanted to put a train in that part of the city, like, I had, I had plans but it only went through the mainland. So it went Windsor, and then through the mainland, and then past Maple Ridge, and then into Meridian, which worked, but like all of Seaview, AKA like the populated portion of the map was just completely ignored because like I can't get anything over there. I'd have to make a train bridge, and there was just no space to put anything like a train station in Seaview because that stuff is huge. Um, but I want to make sure I properly implement it this time. So I'm going to be planning that out nice and early. I have a vague idea for what I want the map to look like layout wise. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not lost there, which is really good. I'm glad I have that kind of like guidance or whatever. But to plan the train out early and get that stuff going soon would be super awesome. So that's definitely something that I want to do. As for the rest of the city, um, that doesn't involve trains, I have, I think I talked about this in the last episode, like, I have a whole Notion document with everything planned out on it. Um, I might have, I might be tripping, I recorded, like, three different versions of that video, so maybe I talked about it in one and I didn't talk about it in the release version, but I'll go over it now. Um, I have a giant Notion document full of stuff and tasks and plans for things. Like I have a bunch of reference images for like the police station and the fire station and whatnot. So I'm going to be employing those very, um, very much. And on top of that, I have an outline for the entire city of Lakeview. This isn't everything, like I'm probably gonna need more, but I'll read it out to you guys. There's the car dealership, which is what we're doing now. The corner gas station, which is up in that top right corner, it's top right now, no it's not, no, I, I, I don't know, I'm not gonna try and sync it up with the video, it's moving too fast. If you knew how much I had to speed up this video to get it to fit in a reasonable time, you would lose your mind. This is like two and a half hours of footage here, so, I don't know, you do the math yourself or something. 
but um, the corner gas station, which will be up in the corner, go figure. Uh, townhomes is another one. I want to have some like cool brick townhomes that you can own. Uh, the bank, a library, a fire station, and a police station. A post office, a town hall, and then I want to have some parks, so some like lakeside parks, and a little monument as well. Um, I showed a picture of Providence, Rhode Island, which has a monument, and I want to do something like that because I think it's really cool. And then also just some, you know, the regular ponds or whatever. And then I also want to do a marina off the coast. I mean, I don't want to do a marina. Like, I don't feel like building it because it's a pain in the ass. But I'm going to do it anyway because it would make no sense to not have one here. So I'm going to do that. And then we're also going to have the College of Law here for us here um, in this city. repurpose them for commercial use or something i don't know but the idea is uh the college of law will be here and it'll be like a small campus with a couple old brick buildings and some cool interiors and whatnot and it'll be super awesome and on top of that this is all excluding the commercial and retail buildings which i don't have planned because it's just like cookie cutter stuff that i'm just gonna place anywhere i need it to be like the buildings behind the car dealership are probably just gonna be some basic commercial buildings oh my god never mind they're gonna be townhomes i just had like a vision from god about what that place needs to look like and i know exactly what i'm gonna do for it um so that won't be retail but something else along the line will be retail and i'll just be like filling it in in random spots or whatever and it'll all be player business owner retail, which I need to start up nice and early. I'm gonna work on regulations and whatnot for that stuff because I need it to work. I need to get going. Um, as I start planning out stuff like that, doing more administration stuff, I'll be talking about my thought process here, which is really like the bread and butter of it because um, I have a lot of opinions about how to run a roast state, and so does Lada. Um, Speaking of loud, I'll get to that in a second. But, um, I have a lot of opinions on how to run a roast state, and I want to make sure you guys know and can have a say. Because if I do something stupid, maybe you guys should know about it um, and be able to help me out there. But I will kind of like go through my thought process on things so you know how stuff works, and part of the player business regulations will be a part of that. That's been something for. For, like a, a big deal for Rockhaven for a while is the player businesses and like how we're gonna support player businesses in game. I really hate in uh, Firestone how like player businesses are like you have to have money for it. <laughs> it's a in the ass. Uh, but anyway, before the video ends, I want to talk about Lattice Sauce. Lattice Sauce, I have not talked to him in a hot minute, but. I have a feeling there will be a conversation after I publish these videos, you know, someone tells me. So, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully he's still on board with it, I see no reason why he wouldn't be. Um, but that's basically the end of this video. The next video is gonna be some programming stuff, which is boring, but I have... It's interesting, because I was smart about it, and I wanna explain my thought process. But yeah, that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.